Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on April 18 and 75. Hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. said to his friend if the British march by land or sea on the town tonight, hang a lantern in the highest arch of the old church tower as a signal of light. One if by land, two if by sea, I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm to every little village and every little farm for the country folk to be up and on. And then he said good night and with muffled oar, silently rode to the Charleston shore. Remember that famous day and year. At shore walked Paul Revere. Now he gazed at the landscape far and near, but mostly he watched with eager search the belfry tower of the old North Church. And lo, as he looked to the belfry height, a glimmer than a gleam of shimmering light. To the saddle, the bridle he turns and pauses and lingers till full on his sight. A second lamp in the belfry burns, a shape in the moonlight, a bulk of the dark, and beneath on the pebbles in passing a spark. And yet, through the gloom of the pale moonlight, the fate of a nation was riding that night, and a spark struck out by the steed in flight, kindled the land into flame with Remember that its famous day and year, the Bed, who at the bridge be the first to fall Who that day would be lying dead Pierced by a British musket ball You know the rest in the books you read How the British regulars fired and fled How the farmers gave them ball for ball From behind each fence and farmyard wall Chasing the red coats down the lane Then crossing the field to emerge again Under the tree at the turn in the road Only to pause to fire and load So through the night when his cry of alarm To ever little village and ever little farm A cry of defiance, not of fear A voice in the darkness, a knock at the door And the word that shall let go forevermore In the hour of peril, in darkness and need The people will waken and listen to hear The hurrying hoofbeats